Click the bell and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Be sure to refresh this channel multiple times each day for the hottest and latest WWE news and rumors. Like and subscribe. We'll always keep it persistent and persistent. So ladies and gentlemen, with all the returns and all the debuts and all the people being released, it's about time we get a reboot in the WWE, a reboot of a return that while we've been anticipating and waiting just about as long as CM Punk will not quite, but you understand, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to give you the appetite here on Sean's View and remember to share, subscribe, and smash the bell. Page, ladies and gentlemen, Page looking to make a comeback. Page looking to make a return, according to the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters. Ringside News Wrestling Inc. Page, the interviews, the insights, the in-depth, it will make it all right. On a night where we heard that Ric Flair returned to NWA, on a night where Trevor Murdoch became the NWA World's Champion, congratulations. On a night where Jake Paul won by decision, what have you. On a night where we heard Paige wants to come back and wrestling, she is not done. Paige is not closing the door on professional wrestling. And I say, well, that's not an eyesore because we have been waiting. We have been anticipating. You know, here's the thing. Edge, we thought, was retired. Daniel Bryan, we thought, was retired. We never thought we would ever see CM Punk return ever again. But what happened? Edge came back. Daniel Bryan came back. Hell, Stone Cold Steve Austin came back. All came back from career-threatening injuries. Kurt Angle came back. I think it's all about the right timing, the right doctors, the right adjustments, the right surgery. And if Paige can get the right doctor, if she can get the right approval, if Edge and Daniel Bryan could come back, even Taz. Taz came back to pro wrestling at one time in 2002. <clears throat> now, if lightning can strike again, Paige will come back. Now, I guess Paige was also not a fan of the squash at SummerSlam of what Becky Lynch did to Bianca Belair. Now, again, it's not Paige's fault. It's not Bianca Belair's fault. It's not Becky Lynch's fault. They're just going out there and doing what they're supposed to do. They're going out there doing what they're told to do. But, ladies and gentlemen, that isn't stopping Paige from her voicing her opinion and her giving her comments and her giving her interview about how she's not done, how she's not going away, how this is not the end. If anything, it may be only the start. It may only be the beginning of something very special. Now, whether or not, you know, Paige is going to return to WWE, is, is she really going to go to AEW? Is she going to go to Impact Wrestling? Will she go to ROH? I mean, there are so many different organizations. There's so many different companies. There's so many different wrestling entities. If the WWE doesn't accept Paige, well, then who the hell will? And here's the thing about it, viewers. I'm a big Paige fan. I bought all her action figures. I bought her posters. I bought her hats. <laughs> you know, I've watched a lot of her matches. You know, her NXT days, you know, when she defeated AJ Lee by surprise. I mean, you know, Paige has stunned the world. And she's still young. You know, she's not as young as she used to be, but she's still young. I still call her a young stuff, you know. And, you know, Paige realizes she's got a long road, a long career ahead of her. Her best days may be ahead of her. Uh, but then again, her best days might be near. You know what I'm saying? You can look at this from two different dynamics. You can look at this at two different variables here. But ladies and gentlemen, make no mistake make no mistake about it. When Paige returns to the WWE or whatever promotion she goes to, you got to understand what's going on. you got to understand what's at stake. The fact of the matter is, is that Paige would be putting her body on the line. She's been wrestling since she was a teenager, since she was a little girl. And she'll be damned if she's going to let it end at this stage of the game. After everything that Paige has went through, after everything she's endured, after all the pain, the punishment, the anguish, Paige is not going to just settle on, oh, I'm done, I'm over. She ain't going to accept that. And Paige is back in the gym. Paige is working. Now remember to take this time to share, subscribe, smash the bell, turn on all notifications, and remember to like this video and leave your comments because it's all about interaction. It's all about opinions. It's all about comments. It's all about what you want to see, what you want to read, and what you want to hear. And now, you know, the fact that Paige wants to come back really shows what she's all about and what she brings to the table and what she wants to set out to do. Paige wants to go out on her own terms, just like Edge, just like Daniel Bryan. You know, multiple stars, Kurt Angle, you know, Samoa Joe, all these guys that we thought we were done and gone, these guys that we thought they were injured forever. And they always came back some way, somehow. And again, viewers and subscribers, <clears throat> I think everybody likes Paige. Everybody's into Paige. Everybody likes what Paige has done and what, what, what she represents and what she brings to the table. There's no doubt about that. She gives you the satisfaction. Paige 
is noteworthy. Now, yes, there's been some conflicts and controversies about Paige in the past. Make no mistake about it, but we're not here to talk about the conflict and the controversies. What we're here to talk about is the fact that Paige wants to get in the ring, that Paige wants to wrestle, that Paige wants to work out, that Paige wants to represent. And, you know, Paige would be coming back to a very much different wrestling company, a whole new roster of talent, all new talents, all new charismas, all new sizes and shapes. You know, whether it be NXT or whether it be the main roster or whether it be AEW, I mean, there is so much opportunity for Paige to go out there and make a real name for herself once again, establish herself as one of the greatest WWE women's wrestlers of all times, ladies and gentlemen. Can Paige live up to the expectations? Can Paige come back? Do you want to see her come back? Can she make the WWE come back like a Daniel Bryan, like an Edge, like so many others before her that were told you can't come back? You can't do it. The injuries are just too much. You can't get the job done. Well, Paige might be proving them all wrong at the end of the day because if Paige can come back, can you imagine the resiliency? Can you imagine the championship matches? Can you believe, can you believe what the storyline will be? And you got to wonder, once Paige does return, if it's under the WWE banner, will it be for Raw? Will it be for SmackDown? Or will it be for NXT? Because we all know NXT is being rebranded. NXT is going in a different direction. So we're going to see how it all happens, how it all unfolds. Paige's return to the WWE. And don't you ever count out Paige because she might be the next one to be. Share, subscribe, and smash the bell. More to come from the brash one. Remember to refresh this channel. Refresh this channel multiple times a day so you never miss one moment from the brash one. Later.